Hey, Leroy from Noisegate here. Um, today, I just wanted to talk about um, some interesting ways how you can inspire uh, some ideas um, for your tracks using this Maxwell Live device called the Step Divider. So last year, Ableton released a bundle of Maxwell Live devices uh, in conjunction with the guys over at Sonic Faction um, called the Probability Pack, which is a pack of five sequences and ideas generators that use sort of randomization and algorithmic mathematical probability to create new ideas. Uh, sounds pretty crazy. Um, and the results are really awesome once you kind of get your head around how the interface works. Now, I'm not going to go into all the devices. I just want to focus on sort of one in particular, which is um, the step divider. Um, as I've had a lot of success with generating some kind of happy accidents, um, and I've had a lot of fun with it as it's super easy. All right, so this is the step divider here. Um, so the step divider, it's a polyphonic sequencer where you can um, subdivide um, each step into any number of smaller subdivisions. Uh, what does that even mean, you ask? Well, let's stop talking about it and let's just dive right in. So as you'll see here, we've got eight lanes and each lane has eight steps in it. And each lane will assign to a note and these are the notes right here. Um, and so I have an instance of um, massive setup And each of these lanes will assign to a note in Massive. So whenever I put in a step, it'll play that note. That's pretty cool. Just a sort of generic step sequencer to begin with. Let's go ahead and change the notes though. So we can actually go over here and we can assign um, the notes to any particular root note we want, let's assign it to A, and let's assign that scale to a Dorian scale. All right, and let's play it with some drums for some context. Nice, so we've got a nice little step sequence. But where things start to get really crazy is when we can subdivide each individual note into smaller steps. So if I hold the shift button, I can subdivide that into two individual steps. If I hold shift and click again, it'll subdivide it into three. And then once again, into four. So we can start to get some really interesting glitchy textures now. Now we can take this up a notch by changing the division of each individual lane um, and the rate and the speed at which it plays independently um, of all the other lanes. So if I increase my division of this lane here and change its rate to something completely random, enter in a step, subdivide that step into two, let's hear the results. <laughs> You can imagine how crazy this would get if each individual lane was um, being triggered on different rates and divisions. Now over in the probability section, this is where um, you're able to um, add in some chance that these notes will play one or a few octaves higher than where you're currently at. So if I increase this all the way to the top, this means that uh, the sequencer will play, there'll be 50-50 chance that this sequence will play at um, an octave higher than we're currently in. And again, let's go up one more octave. Now if we just dial this back a little bit, we can just have it kind of subtly come in. So and I've got some pretty interesting um, organic sort of evolving patterns now. Now over in the pattern section, and this is where we're able to actually save individual patterns in these cells. If you hold the shift button and click on a cell, it will save that as a pattern. And here's some patterns I've created earlier. <laughs> Now, 
if you uh, uh, if you wanted to um, create some arrangements out of these patterns, you could obviously go to your uh, session view, uh, sorry, your arrangement view, uh, and use some automation to maybe automate the um, pattern sequences. Um, but I'm probably going to just take this as audio. I reckon the best way to do this would be to send the audio from Massive to an audio channel uh, and create a series of audio clips. So let's just go ahead and do that. Select a pattern here. All right, here we go. Nice, and I'd probably do that four more times for those other individual patterns. Now, if you uh, kind of just want to get a little bit more random, you can go over this section here and ask the step divider to randomly generate a pattern for you just by literally throwing a dice. So let's see how that sounds. All right. Oops, I'll just mute this channel right here. All right. And again. Well, that's actually awesome. I'm just going to save that for later. Thank you, randomization. All right, cool. Now let's look at some other creative ways in which we could use uh, the step divider. On this channel here, I have um, a drum rack. Uh, and each um, of these cells here are filled with some chord samples um, that I've taken from some native instruments um, sample packs. So let's just have a little listen to how these sound. Nice and moody. Ooh, a little vocal sample there. And then an octave above, I've got as well. Now, conveniently, these uh, sequence uh, lanes assigned to the first eight notes um, in my drum rack. So we can use these sequencer to now sequence these lanes. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Nice. Now that's already awesome, but let's take it up another level by subdividing some of the steps. Awesome. And again, we'll change the division of the lane and we'll subdivide that. Cool. I'm going to go over here and take that as an audio clip. Assign the audio from the drum rack. Cool. So as you can see from the step divider, you can create some pretty wild and unexpected um, sequences. Um, and when you really start to uh, change the division and the rate of each lane will create some really organic, um, ever-evolving patterns, um, and especially when you consider um, chaining all these patterns together as well. So I hope this kind of helps with um, generating and inspiring some ideas um, for your tracks. And as always, click the subscribe button uh, for future content, and we'll see you next time.